Connecticut's most competitive and most expensive race for Congress this year is in the 5th Congressional District, pitting first-term Democrat Elizabeth Esty against Republican businessman Mark Greenberg. Well, this is the district that gave Chris Murphy that he actually had to give up two years ago to run for the U.S. Senate. The district stretches from Meriden, Cheshire, and New Britain in the east. It includes most of Waterbury and all the way to Danbury on the New York border. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us now live with the very latest. Good evening, Mark. Hi, Ann and Darren. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. This is the third time that Republican businessman Mark Greenberg of Litchfield has run for this congressional seat. It's the first time that Democratic incumbent Congresswoman Elizabeth Esty has run for re-election, which is traditionally one of the toughest races. Unfortunately, I've been dealing with over the last four weeks defending myself against, uh, against frankly, lies. The future of Social Security is the issue that has dominated television advertising in this race and an area that shows real disagreement between the two candidates. We must increase the retirement age gradually to 70. We would not hurt or affect the Social Security benefits for anybody 52 or older. Mark Greenberg, in his own words, has said repeatedly he considers the system a failure. He's now saying here he wants from 52 uh, and younger would operate under a move the goalpost scenario. We have to be honest about it. If you go on the Social Security system right now, they will tell you that you are we are going to run out of money in 15 years. I don't know about you, but I know plenty of people who work, uh, who work with physical labor, who work in nursing homes, who run jackhammers, who do physical labor, who cannot be expected to work five years longer. And a remarkable thing happened toward the end of the dispute over Social Security. The Democrats said we should consider raising the Social Security tax. And the Republican said he's willing to talk about raising the tax. We can look to raise the income uh, cap at which we collect. And I think that is a much fairer way to do it. The bottom line also is that I'm willing to discuss an increase in the cap as well as an extension from 67 to 70. Now, today's debate took place in Waterbury, and that's ironic because one of Waterbury's most infamous politicians is overshadowing this race. We'll have that part of the story coming up at 6. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.